an emotional Keegan Brown pays tribute to the darts player he beat on day four of the World Darts Championship. An emotional Keegan Brown pays tribute to the darts player he beat on day four of the World Darts Championship. James Wade and Dave Chisnell became the latest and highest profile seeds to crash out of the World Darts Championship on Sunday night. With six seeds already down going into Sunday's evening session, the Machine and Jizzy made it three of the world's top 12 cent packing inside the opening four days. Wade, who last crashed out at this stage in 2006, was first to fall, losing out 3-2 in a thrilling encounter with world number 58 Keegan Brown. The 2014 World Youth Champion and Medical Laboratory Assistant currently seeking additional leave from work to practice for the second round. Wade's disappointing season ended with his a first hurdle exit for the first time in more than a decade. Within an hour, multiple major winner in world number 11 Wade was joined by world number 8 Chisnell in heading home before Christmas as Dutch fan favorite Vincent van der Voort dispatched a below par Chizzy 3-0. For both Wade and Chisnell the year ends in the most disappointing of fashions, with the pair having mustered little in the way of major performances a first-round exit will do. Little to enhance their claims of a return to the Premier League. Sunday evening results Willard Brugier 1-2 Cody Harris James Wade 11 2-3 Keegan Brown Dave Chisnell 8 0-3 Vincent van der Voort Ian White 17 3-1 Cody Harris All the headlines will go to Brown who has failed to kick on since beating Roby John Rodriguez to claim the world youth title in 2014. But a blistering start saw him reel of the first three legs including a fine 124 finish. Wade stopped the rot with the opening leg of the second set. Double top settling him into the contest, Brown was undaunted. A clinical 70 leveled up and with the pair trading big finishes. The machine took out 72 to level. Brown struggled to keep his emotions and excitement in check. Brown struggled to keep his emotions and excitement in check. With Wade on the brink, an assured fourth set from him ensured the match went the distance. Before the final act that saw Brown into the second round, where he faces Zoran Lurchbacher, with hopes high of a career-best run at Alexandra Palace. At the other end of the age scale, Van der Voort put injury and career concerns behind behind to roll back the years with a demolition of Chisnell. Vincent Van der Voort says his back injury nearly pushed him to retirement but that he is doing everything he can to return to full fitness. Vincent Van der Voort says his back injury nearly pushed him to retirement but that he is doing everything he can to return to full fitness. The 41-year-old admitted last year that he considered giving up the game and underwent a couple of hernia operations but he looked back to his quickfire best, much to the delight of the crowd who treated him to several rousing renditions of his walk-on song. Chisnell looks on after a below-par display saw him blown away by the Dutchman. On the OCHE a 56% finishing display to go with 6 180s and an average a shade under 100. Was too good for Chisnell, who suffered his first fall at the first hurdle since 2014. In the final match of the evening, 17th seed Ian White ensured it was not a clean sweep of defeats for the seeds. Overcoming a battling display from preliminary round winner Cody Harris who beat American policeman Willard Brugge. The New Zealander briefly threatened White when he leveled the match at one set apiece before the more experienced man rallied to ease through the next two sets thanks to a critical 94 in the third that swung the match back his way. White ran out a 3-1 to one winner and will next face Jerwin Price, with the winner of that match likely to meet Michael Van Gerwen in the third round. Earlier in the day, Jamie Lewis became the first player from the preliminary round to book a place in the second round, following up his 2-1 win over Kenny Nines in the first match of the afternoon session with a brilliant 3-0 victory over Johnny Clayton in the final match. 
Jamie Lewis won twice in the afternoon session to seal a place in the second round for the second year in succession. Players' Championship runner-up and 31st seed Clayton was no match for Lewis, who produced his best performance on the Alexandra Palace stage to average 99.02 and send his fellow Welshman packing. Joining Lewis in the second round are Alan Norris and Kyle Anderson, who gave the seeds a boost after Saturday's shock results. Anderson was not as his best but proved too strong for Peter Jacques while 2016 quarter-finalist Chuck Norris was too strong for Finland's Kim Billion. A quick wrap-up of all the action from Day Fa's afternoon session of the World Darts Championship. A quick wrap-up of all the action from Day Fa's afternoon session of the World Darts Championship. Sunday afternoon results Kenny Nines 1-2 Jamie Lewis Alan Norris. 15. 3 to 0 Kim Billion and Kyle Anderson. 24. 3 to 1 Peter Jacques Johnny Clayton. 31. 0 to 3 Jamie Lewis. The 2018 World Championship from Alexandra Palace continues on Monday night with coverage underway. On Sky Sports Darts from 7 p.m. Live World Darts Championship live on. Keep up to date with the news as the PDC celebrates 25 years on Sky Sports. So get all the latest at www.skysports.com. Darts and join in the conversation at Sky Sports Darts. Don't forget to use hashtag LoveTheDarts.